we have with us Navjot Kaur from IISC Bangalore. And she will tell us how she plans to break the wall of access to expensive molecular diagnosis. Navjot? Start your time now. Hi. I'm going to ask you to visit a not so fortunate memory of yours where you or someone close to you fall sick and you go to a doctor and many a times they ask you to get this test done. So you have to go to this fancy lab, drop off your samples and wait for the results for a couple of hours or at times a couple of days. The results come in and that's when the doctor prescribes the medicine. If you look closely at these molecular diagnostic labs and by molecular diagnostics I mean DNA and RNA based testing, they're clearly highly resource dependent. Now, if you look at a developed setting like Bangalore, think about a professional who works around eight to nine hours a day, has to commute to work. They don't have the time to get tested. To add to that, around 56% of the world population lives on around two to $10 a day. So diagnostics is a very expensive affair for more than half of the world's population. In contrast, look at this low resource setting. The challenges are even more fundamental in terms of accessibility and affordability of even basic facilities, let on diagnostics. So I present to you a solution to break the access to expensive molecular diagnostics called FLIPNAT, fluorescent isothermal paper and plastic nucleic acid amplification test. It's made out of paper and plastic. That's the handle device for you. It's smaller than the size of your palm. And it's a systems integration product, meaning that the existing technologies have been integrated, improvised, and miniaturized to bring up a product that has such a simple user experience. All you need is a bacterial incubator that's available in most labs to do the test. Fluorescence imaging is enabled using a cell phone camera, and the results can be read off as an image. Since tuberculosis is a huge global challenge, with 1.6 million deaths in 2017, and India is sort of topping the charts in a bad way, where we had most deaths in 2016 and 2017. We worked with Flipnat to develop a TB diagnostic tool to save these millions of lives. So the presence of a green spot there tells you that you have TB, while the absence of the green color is a negative test. It's semi-quantitative in a way that reading the magnitude of the green color intensity, you can know about the severity of the disease in the patient's body. Going forward with the power of FlipNAT, I envision it to be a disruptive technology to, riff, to flip the existing molecular diagnostics and bring in, bring in a new era of affordable, accessible, low-cost, point-of-care, <coughs> even do-it-yourself do molecular diagnostics. Thank you so much. Yeah, we are in talk with CMC Velour to start the clinical trials. And the material cost of making the device is just 61 rupees, which is even less than a dollar. And so is the reagent cost. Yes, so that's how the app in the phone would be optimized so that it reads the signals correctly. And it won't be a result by an eye, but the app will correlate for the intensity and tell you the result. Thank you so much, Navjot. Yeah.